and welcome to episode 32 of Lydia's Booktastic Podcast. In this episode, we will be reviewing The Hat Makers by Tamsin Merchant. Liddy, 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 you've got another mad book for me today, haven't you? It's not mad. And <laughs> yeah, it's called The Hat Makers. Should I read the blurb? Well, who's it by? It's by Tamsin Merchant. Oh, I was calling her Tasman, wasn't I? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, what's it about? Give us a blurb um, on the blurb. Cordelia Hatmaker comes from a long line of magical milliners who weave enchantments, enchantments into every hat they make. In Cordelia's world, <laughs> the ancient art of making, crafting items from magical ingredients is a rare skill and only a few maker families remain. When Cordelia's family is lost at sea, she is determined to find him. But then an ancient rivalry between maker families threatens to surface and Cordelia worries that someone is using maker magic to start a war. Can Cordelia rescue her father and uncover the truth before it's too late? Bom, wow. bom, bom. That's a deep book, is it? Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of like a Harry Potter-ish come... Kind, kind of, of, you know, magical, but at the same time, kind of mystical as well, isn't it? Yeah. And um, at the start, there's something mm. that's actually really cool. Okay, tell us. List of illustrations. A list of illustrations. Yeah, so so give us an example. What does it mean by a so list of illustrations? So, for example, um, for as long as Cordelia could me- remember, she had been helping her helping her family with their craft. Page 16. Oh, cool. Right. That phrase is from page 16. Brilliant. And that like, picture is on yeah. page 19. Ah, brilliant. And is there maps as well, you were saying? Yeah, it says map on, of London. So they're in London. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know when this is, but I think it's, af- uh, it's after Henry VIII. It's like 200 years after that. Like, oh, it's about yeah. 17th century then or yeah. 18th century. And um, so, yeah, there's a map of London mm-hmm. and it, it's really clever. Yeah, why? So it has like, um, for example, there's this uh, uh, this town hall thing. It looks mm-hmm. like a town hall. Eight, and it oh, above it has the number eight. Then mm-hmm. you look at number eight. It says Theatre Royale. Oh, brilliant. Like and um, there's like the hat maker house, number one, boot maker mansion, number two, glove ma- maker house, number three. And yeah. Ah, it's excellent. And, and like, uh, is there any other... watchmakers, so, there's a couple of, like, there's like 15 or 16 illustrations the whole book. Yeah. But it's a big old book, though, isn't it? How many pages has it got now? Let's have a look. We can see around, I think, oh, 350 pages. But actually, I'm just looking at the pages themselves. The the the, um, the words are fairly big on it. So it's not a very huge book. Um, Is it scary? I always ask you that question. But is it scary? Um. Well, no. Characters. Um, what about the main character, Cordelia? Um, What's so she like? Is she good? Yeah. Her mom is... D- dead <laughs> um her dad went out on a ship mm-hmm. but then he, her father is lost at sea sounds like frozen everybody thinks he's dead mm-hmm. but cordelia wants to prove he's alive oh, okay. and then there's a great aunt mm-hmm. i think her name is petronella right and she was a child when king henry the eighth mm-hmm. had his reign Oh, okay, Which cool. It's kind of weird because that would make her like 200 years old. Right, I get you. And she's the main character in it. Is there, is there other kids in it or what's the story? Uh, yeah, there's other kids. And um, about the great aunt, when Cordelia asked, how old are you? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, then she was like, I stopped counting when I was 100. <laughs> okay, right. And is the magic keeper at all? Or uh, yeah, there's magic. And then there's her aunt and her uncle and there's loads of other makers mm-hmm. but like only a few remain there's only like five maker families left okay can you explain to me what makers are what do they make uh, so basically makers mm-hmm. make whatever their name is like for example hat maker boot maker glove maker cloak maker watch maker and but is there magic in any of these things that they make or are they just normal things that they just do uh, they have they have magic Right. But what I'm saying is the things that they make, are they magic or are they just normal? Oh, I see. I got you. Come here. Tell me all the other things I wanted to know. Is this one of a series of books? 
Uh, well, it said at the back, which is really annoying because uh, it's such a cliffhanger. Oh, in this it's one, like, right. Found, find out as her f- co- adventure continues in The Map Makers. Ah. Spring 2022. All right. And now is spring 2022. <laughs> okay. And my mom is looking for um, if she can find it in spring 2022, but she still hasn't found it. Tamsin Merchant, if you're out there listening to our podcast, you must tell Lydia when the book is due. <laughs> yes. Now, the, the exact illu- second. The illustrations, who are they done by? The illustrations are by Paola Escobar. That's a great name. Yeah. I like that name. name. They sound like some kind of adventurer name, isn't it? My name is Paola Escobar III, and I am here to claim the gold. Brilliant. Yeah, on God. Sounds hope Italian. Hope they're not listening. <laughs> given out to me saying do you think I'm a gold thief or something like that now marks out 10 for this book The Hat Makers what do you think uh, 9 out of 10 oh really how did it get 9 out of 10 uh, because there, there's an unexpected turn and there's actually like these messenger page, yeah, pigeons yeah so like uh, but the thing is if they can't find the person they're sending it to mm-hmm. they never come back oh, mm, oh. Yeah. Well, where did they go like to go to a restaurant or something and chill out for the rest of the I don't know oh they end pigeons. up in Trafalgar Square where They're all the pigeons. pigeons go. Okay, cool. Now, the other thing I wanted to ask you, let's look at the age group. Uh, we had last week, we had Ghosts from the Other Realm and we were talking about saying that that book was like kind of 11 plus. What do you think of this one? Uh, I think it's uh, it's like um, six or older. Oh, really? Okay, cool. So if you were like 10, you could read it probably to your six-year-old. Yeah. Now, the other thing, boys or girls, do they prefer it or is it a book for everybody? I think it's a book for mostly girls, but... Mm-hmm. Boys are into like fantasy, like Harry Potter. Right. Yeah. That was my next question. Like, if you were into Harry Potter or if you were into Ghosts from the Other Realm, where, which way would it be? Which would be more closer? Uh, I think on a like scale between Harry Potter and Ghosts from the Other Realm, I think the Hat Makers is a bit closer to ha- Harry Potter. Oh, okay. But it's like around the middle. I see. And would this be a good TV show? Because I think this is the thing we have to ask nowadays because all of these books are get, they have so much potential that they could be made into movies. Yeah, this would be a really, really good TV uh, would, show. Like, and series one would be that book, would it? Yeah, and then the season two could be like the Map Makers. Very which is good. Spring, and you could kind of change the name a little bit, couldn't you? Instead of like, the hat makers the map makers brilliant definitely recommend this book then yeah yeah is it new actually i meant to ask you that 2021 um, was it because i know I, you're saying the new one's know. coming out in 22 uh yeah that one's coming out in 2022 and this one's first published in 2021 ah, it's well up to date then so brilliant okay so we said nine out of ten for the hat makers which is written by tamsin merchant and illustrated by paola escobar great name and uh, yeah. we will be back soon i think in the next episode episode 33 we're probably going to do a reading aren't we because the yeah. our first one was really really good yeah we did a hatty episode peck 30. i hope i hope you just managed to put loads of little kids to sleep because it was just so i was actually trying to do it and i was falling asleep when i was reading it i was listening to it and i was going I was like falling asleep and I'm trying to fix it and make it ready to go and here I am falling asleep over my keyboard. It's very nice, very nice. I'm sure lots of people liked it. So we probably do um, a reading for our next episode, episode 33. Yeah. So listen everybody, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to us and we will see you in episode 33. Excellent. Take care y'all. Bye-bye.